Hello everyone, Charles Wallingford back again with another video. And this video is not so much as a fashion video, but that's how it would kind of be uh, in, a, in a category, categorized as fashion. But this is more of image, and this also is a, a little bit of self-help. And this is something that I see that is probably going to affect everybody, and it's, it's somewhat frightening, and I want to address it within my genre my genre is distilled aged spirits whiskeys bourbons cognac and then there's cigars premium cigars hard to find expensive cigars now what does that have to do with what i'm talking about well those things are connected also with my watches all these things in men this is like a men's type thing and what i am getting at what I am uh, going to address is your image. When you're buying this, all these things that I'm talking about, it costs money, it costs real money. And if you can't afford it, or you, lack of a better term, don't deserve it, a lot, a lot of times people will tell you, oh, it's the system, it's the system, or whatever. But it's not the system. If, it's, if you let it be. Let it be the system. I do believe there's something out there that's destroying men, weakening men, targeted at men to keep young men from coming around, from being what they should be. Men wearing sweatpants are less than, and we're, we're, we're setting them up for failure by not telling them that this is wrong. Now, of course, there's a purpose for sweatpants. You're wearing sweatpants when you go to the gym, sweatpants when you're exercising, or sweatpants when you're just getting out of bed and you're not doing anything. You Maybe you're just going to walk the dog. Sure. After that, you should not be wearing sweatpants. To the point where for me and my family, for my sons, I have forbidden sweatpants worn to school and out. They will not wear, be wearing sweatpants unless they're doing something that is absolutely athletic, meaning your sweatpants are the sweatpants that go with your soccer uniform. Yeah, that's the only time that can take place. And that includes joggers, people. Joggers are nothing but sweatpants, so don't try to say that, treat them differently. They're not. They're absolutely not. And you'll see why, what I'm talking about as I go further on. So let's go further on. With this projection, with this projection of wearing sweatpants, you're, you're, you're saying that, uh, you're saying you don't care. I definitely believe you that you're wearing those sweatpants for you. Because those sweatpants are saying, hey, I don't care. I don't care. I'm wearing these for me. And you're right. You're wearing those for you and you don't care. That's exactly the problem. The problem is you don't care, and you're giving that out. That's your uniform. That's what you're projecting. I don't care. You don't care about you, and you don't care about others. Well, I don't need to care about others. Sure, exactly. You don't need to care about others. But what do women want? What do women ultimately want? And what am I trying to get at? This is these things are these things are just for the help. I want to help. And what do women want? They want a man who is a leader. That's what they want in a man. Of all else, they want somebody who has a plan, who has a mission, who's driven, who is going to be there when times get rough. And those sweatpants never say that. Why do I think that? How do I feel that way? Why do I feel that way? Well, let's break down what it takes to get sweatpants. What is care does it take to uh, pick out the sweatpants that you're going to buy? Damn near none. When have you seen somebody not wearing sweatpants correctly or well or whatever? And if you do see it, you don't really care. No one's going to say, man, he really didn't wear those sweatpants, right? That never happens. So there's no care in picking them out. And what colors are you going to have? Gray, navy blue, black, pretty much it. 
So you didn't have to think much to pick them out. So not much care there. Get them home. Time to wear them. Are you going to press them? Are you going to iron them? They're sweatpants. You don't need to do that. Again, no care. Okay, now you've worn them and you're going to wash them. Does it take any care to wash them? When things are really nice or really expensive, either you put them in the uh, cleaner to be professionally clean or you hand wash them because you want to take extra care. Sweatpants, put them in a wash machine. Doesn't matter what, what setting. Put some soap in there. Done. No care. There's no care involved. And that's what you're saying. That's what you're saying in your uniform. That's what you're saying to women. And a lot of times, we all know, or maybe you don't know, women don't tell you exactly what they want. They don't tell you what they truly care about. They, they want you to figure it out on your own. And they will tell you the wrong thing. I want somebody nice and kind and somebody will make me laugh, somebody emotionally available. Yeah, we all know that's not the, <laughs> that's not the guy they end up with. No, mm -mm, that's not the top of their list. No, we know what is the top of their list. And the big thing that's the top of their list, especially for a really good woman, especially for some true staying power, keeping that woman, leadership. They want a man who is a leader, who looks like they know what they're doing all the time. Little side note, MGTOW, Red Pill, uh, incels, all those men's groups that are mad at women, pointing out how women have failed, pointing out how, uh, how women are terrible, pointing out, out how women are doing all these horrible things, which I don't, I don't disagree with, but they never talk about how men are failing in the sense of being leaders. That shit goes out the window when you're a strong leader. When you look like you can take care of business and you don't look like you can take care of business in sweatpants. What you look like in sweatpants, you're probably good at Madden, at Call of Duty, at, uh, at um, playing 2K. Yeah, yeah, you, you, look, you look like that. Yeah, you're probably good at that. Women don't like that. That is not a panty dropper, guys, in case you didn't know it. In case you didn't know it, it's not a panty dropper at all. So one of the arguments people would put forth, like, hey, I'm wearing these sweatpants because they are re comfortable, they're relaxed, less restrictive, you know, which is uh, maybe in the 1950s you might have a point. In this day and age, dress clothes <laughs> are very comfortable. Dress clothes are relaxed in the styles. Today you can wear, the, the, the dress shoes look like sneakers. Sneakers look like dress shoes. Or sneakers are dress shoes. There's no excuse for that crap today. There's no excuse for it. In 2020, anything. There's no excuse for saying, oh, I just want to be relaxed. You want to be comfortable and relaxed all the time? All the time, there's a time where you need to be on edge. There's a time where you need to be in a zone where you need to pay attention. There's a time for you to grow up and look like a grown up. And I'm going to get to that point too with sweatpants. Let's go ahead and get to that. Let's go ahead and get to that point. What do you look like when you're wearing sweatpants? You look like a kid. You look like a big kid. So you think a woman gets turned on by that? So either you won't attract a woman or you won't keep a woman because you look like a little boy. So when you look like a child, let's think, let's break it down. What are you doing? What are you wearing? Why does it, why do you look like a child? Oh, well, what do you put it for those of you who don't know when you first, and I mean a little child, when you first potty train a child, 
You don't put clothes on them that are too restrictive. You put clothes on them that's easy for them to get on and off so they don't pee pee in their pants. And that's what you look like. You just look like a big kid. It was nothing that, that uh, went into your outfit and your outfit was nice and comfortable and easy to put on. And people see it. And just because they don't say it, they do pay attention. They absolutely pay attention. So what does a woman see when she has her boyfriend or maybe a potential guy talk to her in sweatpants? A little baby, a little kid, a little toddler. You just learned how to pee, not pee pee on yourself. Think a woman feels like, oh, this guy's going to protect me, lead me in the right direction. Hmm. And then what also happens when you wear these clothes, women follow you. Women are following. Women are wearing sweatpants too. I'm not going to address the women because the women are waiting for you to lead them. It's no matter what you say, no matter what's going on, the women are waiting for you to lead them. They're waiting for you to say, hey, this is where we're going. This is where we're how we're dressing and everything else. Meaning, you'll never, you'll never ever have a woman wearing sweatpants and you're dressing nice. She is not going to leave that house and you're dressing up more than her. She will not allow it to happen. She will go, whoa, 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 what are you doing? Why are you wearing that? Oh, I need to change. That will happen. Or she will be utterly, utterly pissed off at you if she's not wearing the right clothes and you're wearing something above her as far as the level of dress. She will be utterly pissed off. And again, when you're wearing the same clothes, she's waiting for you to wear the same thing. So you're wearing sweatpants, she's wearing sweatpants, and you don't look like anybody else, like I said, you're going to lose her. You know why you're going to lose her? Because she looks at you as another girl. Because essentially you're wearing women's clothes. When you dress up, when a person dresses up, the, the difference in the way a woman looks, the difference in the way a man looks, it gets further and further and further apart. When you're dressing down, it gets closer and closer and closer. Look at the extreme of this. When a woman's wearing a ball gown, a man is in a tuxedo, or better yet, when a man is in the military, he's wearing a damn sword when he's dressed up to the highest level. When, he, when you can't get any higher, your most formal wear, a man's wearing a sword. It's crazy, right? No, it's not crazy. Even when men are dressing up, we're still ready to rock. We're still ready to fight. You're not ready to fight in sweatpants, are you? Well, you could, but not really. You're, you're too lazy. The next thing, let's talk about what goes with sweatpants. Let's talk about the full ensemble of sweatpants. What do you wear on, on top? Usually a hooded sweatshirt, bottom, shoes, Crocs. Nothing says little boy like sweatpants and Crocs. Nothing says the opposite of leader like sweatpants and Crocs. Again, real easy to put on. Sweatshirt, hooded sweatshirt, real easy to put on. You don't have any buttons, no zippers. It's too much for you. All those things start to add up. And then what comes with that? That hooded sweatshirt, put that hood on top of your head. Now you're not worried about anything else. Your peripheral has been, been altered. So you're not worried about your woman or anything like that. That's what a leader is worried about. A leader is worried about his people. It's just you. You're just worried about you. And then what also happens? Your posture. You put that hood up, those shoulders slump, the chest goes in, and the head goes down. Look around. Look around next time when you see somebody with that, with that ensemble. They don't look like they're proud of themselves, sure of themselves, leader. Mm -mm, not at all. Not at all. All right, guys, I hope you are, this helped you out. 
Coach has made you pay attention a little bit more. Maybe if you're not a young man, you have a young man in your household, think about what I've been saying. And if you are a young man, think about what's going on. We are going, we are calling the herd. We are cutting down on our population, either by design, by these super wealthy leaders of the, of the world, or we're doing it by mother nature. Either way, we're doing it. And it's up to you if you're going to be part of it. Either it's up to your, your, your kids. Are your kids going to be a part of it? Or are you going to be part of it? Are you going to be calm? Are you going to be cut down by, not by uh, violence, by not being worthy of reproducing? I'm Charles Wallingford. These clothes, not sweatpants, are how I would spend my money.